this person, I think, very much would like to have a connection with you, but it's not just the things that they're dealing with, but I think it's you too. So, you know, with the Knight of Cups being the overall here, we are talking about, you know, an offer that is being extended here. I love him, but I don't. I think that there is a question on whether or not you're going to be able to follow your heart with this and accept this offer. This is something where emotions may be changing, but I do think that, you know, there is someone here that would like to have an emotional connection with you. And I think that at some point the offer is going to be extended, but I don't know if it's going any further than that right now. The way that you're coming into this with the Five of Pentacles and then showing the moon, if you have a history, this person has kept you in the dark about things going on in their life. It's not something that they're wanting to, you know, deal with themselves even, let alone reveal to you. You know, the Five of Pentacles very much can show that you're just not a part of that person's life. Now, for some of you, though, this may be someone who is confused on how you feel about them because you're showing that you're depleted, you know, emotionally and, and physically you can give nothing to, you know, this partnership with the way that you're coming in. Now, for you moving into the Page of Swords, I think that, you know, there is a need for honest communication and direct answers when it comes to whatever it is that this person is carrying around. Now, this kind of goes back to this feeling of dealing with somebody here who is not really, you know, showing you everything that's going on with them, but you at least have some kind of an idea. You know that there is a part of their life that they're not letting you in on, and I think that you want some answers here, because I always look at the Page of Swords and I think we don't have the full details. I also look at it as half-truths, half-information, and it's usually the kind of communication that you don't want to hear. You know, but I think that, like I said, if an offer is being extended here, you have at least some idea of something going on with them and clearly it's weighing on them and you're wanting to know. Moving into the Emperor here, we're talking about control and order and stability, right? And I think that for you, it's you wanting to be in control of what happens here. You know, I don't think that you're being pushy or forceful in any way, but I also think that, you know, you are in a place where I think that you're in better control of what happens in your love life. So when it comes to this person, you know, there's almost a question of whether or not this is something that you want to let in, especially moving into the hangman. And with the six of swords, I think that, you know, you may be looking at them like they need to step it up though too, because if they're having a hard time trying to move on from something that's like weighing on them, you know, it may be time now that they start to take action. The Six of Swords I never look at as an easy transition. You know, but then again, it may be that they're kind of like looking at the situation with you, like maybe I need to move on. You know, because you very much have this strong feeling of I'm in control of what happens to my love life. I do not need to allow this in. But there is a part of you, though, that may have an emotional connection with this person and open to receiving an offer but you need to see something, I think, with the hangman. I don't think it's about, you know, you needing to take some action here. I think that it's in a state of limbo because this person has to get away from something. Now, with the sun, all will be revealed, right? And if something is being revealed or kind of like being brought out about this relationship, I think that that very much could be the reason why you're in this hangman position where it's like, well, I don't know what I really want to do with this. Now, with the Nine of Swords, that could cause a lot of fear and anxiety for them. Not really knowing what's going to happen here or expecting the worst. But, you know, the thing is, though, with the Sun, we're talking about happiness, energy, you know, being brought back into the relationship. And then again, with the Emperor, uh, I'm telling you, you're determined to maintain control over, you know, what you allow in, I think. I think that you may be a little bit like picky and choosy about the people that you get involved with. And I think right now, if you are focused on someone, whether they're keeping you out of their life or you feel like there's nothing for you to give to them, I think that you want direct answers on whatever baggage they're carrying around. They need to move on from something here. 
And I think that you're not in a place where this is a relationship that's worth nurturing, right? Like I'm so used to seeing the Empress with you guys, but this time it's a little bit different. You know, if we're moving forward, I want there to be order and control. I'm not letting chaos come into my life again, or, you know, letting somebody create that kind of chaos. And really, whatever it is, it like I said, it puts you on hold here. But I think that, you know, you are very much wanting to move into a calmer situation and possibly move on from this until they do some healing. And I think that, you know, there's a part of you that's very patient, right? You're not getting out of control at all. <laughs> you're maintaining control all the way through. But you're not making any preconceived judgments about this person and, you know, what they're dealing with. That's what I want to say. Now, with judgment, they may need to look at things a little bit differently here, right? Especially with the Nine of Swords and them, like, always thinking about worst-case scenario, expecting the worst out of the situation, especially if everything is revealed here. But again, we're still looking at an offer that is being extended here emotionally. Like, I want to have this connection. You know, but they're, I think, trying really hard here to, you know, see things differently. And it's interesting because you would expect for them to kind of have the hangman. But I think that you're going, look, you know, let's just move on from this until you heal whatever situation you're dealing with. I'm, I'm cool. I'm patient. Whatever. But there are some things that they need to shut the door on. But unfortunately, I don't know if they're able to because I look at this as self-sabotage here with the Five of Swords. That or they're allowing a situation to sabotage the relationship with you. But regardless, you are not letting any kind of chaos come through. You know, you're very much staying in control of yourself here. And I think that you're very cautious when it comes to certain people that are coming through. But I think that this may be a question of, you know, you kind of wanting to know about one person in particular here. But what I will say is that I don't think that they're ready for this. That's what I want to say. You know, they have some things that they need to handle here for sure. And then the Four of Cups. Uh, I think that this is a pattern that you've repeated with this person before. I do think that I am talking to the Aquarian singles that have been separated from this person, but unfortunately this is something that you're still dealing with. And I really do think it's time to kind of like break this habit, break the routine, right? So you coming into this with the Five of Cups and the Knight of Wands, I think, you, you know, you, you are okay with... If somebody comes through and they apologize for, you know, the way they may have treated you here with the Knight of Wands, you kind of get swept up in the passion. Now, for some of you, though, this may be somebody apologizing for the fact that, you know, they didn't take the relationship with you seriously if they were acting like the Knight of Wands. It's one or the other here. But the thing is, is it, it, regardless of the apology that's coming through with this Five of Cups, you're very much, I think, in a place where you can take care of yourself. That would be the Queen of Pentacles. Whether you're male or female, doesn't matter here. This is you learning how to, you know, satisfy your own needs and not needing this person to do it for you anymore. You know, that's why there was a separation to begin with, I think. And with the Seven of Swords, there's a complete disconnect. Where there may have been a lot of passion before and getting swept up in that, whatever happened where someone needs to apologize, it's just something that, you know, it, 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 it's broken between the two of you. We can't connect now because of it. Now, there is an opportunity with the Ace of Cups to start over again, and these emotions may be being restored. But this is a pattern that is not broken yet with the Four of Cups. You're talking about the routine and the star. And I'm seeing this one a lot. The Eight of Cups, it's really starting to drive me nuts. It's like, I think a lot of us are needing to address the fact that we are connected to people that, you know, we just do not feel the same way about or dealing with people that get a little bit too carried away with their feelings. But Aquarius, with the magician being there, this is about somebody who's wanting to make something happen. But the only thing that's happening here is, you know, getting caught up in passion, but you know, acting in such a way where uh, apologies are needed. You know what I mean? But this is almost like somebody who's coming through and thinking that they can make something happen with you again if they simply apologize. Now, 
again, with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who is being pushy about the way that they feel. Tell me that you love me the way that I love you. That's how I see this one. But it's not there. It is not there. And you're very much in a place where you know that this person cannot fulfill certain needs for you anymore. Now, moving into the star, you know, this is the potential here for there to be healing in the relationship. But the thing is, is we're still looking at separation as the overall. And I think that, you know, this is really where it needs to stay. If you've separated from this person, even if they're coming back through, I don't think that this is something that you should repeat. But that is totally up to you, Aquarius. You do what you do, what you feel like you need to, right? And it's interesting here with you coming out, but I think that the healing needs to happen for you instead of falling into this pattern. You know, maybe there is hope in something better for your love life if you stay separated from this situation. And I say that because there is a complete disconnect with the way that you feel. You know, but then again, right, possibly being able to heal this and being able to start again. I just don't like the Four of Cups because I feel like it's a pattern. All right. I think that you need a minute here to really get clear on what you want from this relationship. And that's showing itself with the Hermit. Okay. Now, whatever it is that you're wanting, when you clearly decide it will show up in your life, but I think that, you know, a lot of you have doubts when it comes to the relationship that you are in or doubts that this is going to go anywhere with someone in particular. Now, the Seven of Wands would be about overcoming doubts, but with the Hermit, you know, this is really looking at your love life like, is this really what I want? What do you really want? Right? And this is you reflecting on that. The Knight of Cups is about having an, an encounter, like something that you have not ex have not experienced before. Let me slow the fuck down here for a minute. With temperance, this is because things are starting to build. You know, you may have doubted this relationship, but temperance would show that passion is slowly starting to build between the two of you. And this may allow you to have an, uh, an encounter with this person that I don't think that you expected to have happen. The problem is, is when you come out of this, right? With the Eight of Pentacles, I, you know, it kind of has the feeling of there are a lot of things either going on in your life or the other person's life where you can't give the full attention to the relationship, right? So it's either you or the other person here. There, there are too many other things that are being focused on. I always look at the Eight of Pentacles and think, I can't play with you right now. I have to go to work, you know? <laughs> and that may be a problem. But with the Empress here, I think that, you know, very much this is something that, you know, it has the potential to be an abundant relationship. I also look at this and think it's not about temptation. And then the King of Swords, ouch. Man. All right. Now, with the Eight of Swords here, this is about being in an uncomfortable position. Okay, we're not comfortable with how things are going. And there are some doubts some doubts surrounding this relationship and what somebody actually wants, I think. But you, though, are being told that you need to get clear on what you want. The Four of Wands, we're having fun. Nothing is serious, but things are starting to build. And I think that that's why you're having an encounter that you haven't experienced before, because this is where, you know, emotions may be getting a little bit more serious here. But I don't know that you are in a place to nurture or grow this relationship. There are too many other things that you may be focused on. And the problem is, is that you're either shutting off your emotions to this person or they're doing this to you. Now, you may be dealing with somebody, though, that is not giving you the emotional attention that you are needing. You know, but the thing is, is if you don't get clear on what you want, then this is what you're going to be dealing with here is somebody who is not emotionally open or affectionate or you stay in a situation where you're just not feeling it, you know, but things are starting to build this way. But if right now you're in a place where you're just not comfortable. It's funny because it, it, it you look at, I think that Aquarius looks at this as this is not really a relationship, but it very much is, you know, I mean, clearly you're getting involved with somebody here where there are some doubts. But, you know, I, I would be careful with this King of Swords if this is you, because it, it's not a good feeling. 
It's not a good feeling when, you know, you're in a situation with somebody where they just don't feel anything anymore, right? And that could be the case for some of you. For others of you, like I said, this may be the person that you're dealing with. They're not giving enough attention to the relationship, not nurturing it enough, right? 